Um, my name is Carsten, like he said, I'm 44 years old. I'm coming from Germany. My English is German as well, so I ask for your apology in advance. Um, yeah, reality. My theme is completely a hard switch, let's say, from the last one to this virtual reality. But let's see what happens in our reality when it changes. Um, in technology, something happens when our, te our reality is changing. So I have some samples for you and I was fu it's, uh, it's funny that we have some samples here uh, as well. So when book came, so the radio or TV, um, of course the PC or internet, our full life was changing. And of course our smartphones was the next step in 2007. And right now actually we find something like this. Who saw it already somewhere? Supermarkets and so on? Okay, okay. This kind of VR glasses, oh, they're already named like this, virtual reality, is actually the big thing of this year and the next years. Um, but I just want to tell you something about how it started. But let me do some research. Do we have some photographers here? Any photographers? One? Okay. Marketing? Okay, but some more. Design, web design and, and, and uh, things like this. And media? Okay, good to know for me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, sorry to switching the pictures like this, but it, uh, it's not possible in a different way. So this is a cheap version. Maybe somebody you saw it and Google actually uh, provided it um, before. And uh, there was one virtual reality before. Um, 2003, there we come, something came uh, called um, Second Life. This was actually mm, not the real virtual reality, but we named it like this. You had an avatar and you had a second life, another life uh, online, and you met other avatars which were actually uh, handled by other users as well. So the difference, and I'm sorry for the joke, the difference between this reality and the real reality well, like this, it was like this. <laughs> but now you have to see, or you will see people like this every day. I was on the ATM, the travel market, and uh, saw a lot of stands uh, using these glasses um, in different ways. So um, keep this in mind and you will see it. Um, the problem is the content. So we have three different kinds of contents for the virtual reality. This is the rendering, um, like rendered rooms for, for architecture and things like this. The technology is great to explore the, this. Um, then we have videos. Videos is uh, actually the next step, but for me it's a step backwards. Because um, it's just look, like looking TV. Okay, you sit there, you can look around, but you cannot navigate, you cannot ha have any impact on, on this. So for me still the photography, and that's why I was asking if there's any photographer, um, is still the, yeah, the, the big thing um, in this virtual reality. Um, Google had a dream. In the beginning of the 2000s they said, let's digitalize the full world. And um, they sent, in two, 2007 they started, funny cars like this around the world. Somebody saw something like this? Yep. Yeah? Okay. Um, the Google Street View cars try to explore for you, actually for all of us, the whole world. And everybody was asking, how do they want to do it? To, to photograph the full world and everything. This is a dream and, and it will not work. But at the end it worked. But they realized to show the streets is fine. But we have to show the inside of the places. And sorry, people like this were running around with the cameras as well so to explore places. And this is Sheikh Zayed Road, for instance, um, which is available as well. And they created something called Business View. Business View is actually the same like um, um, Google Street View but it's created for businesses inside. And they gave photographers, like my partner for instance, the opportunity to start business and to make panoramic pictures for businesses and um, 
to show them from inside. And the second, the, the same question came up: How they want to explore the whole world in this way? How many businesses are there? And every tower like this has around, let's say, 200 businesses. But tours like this uh, uh, came up: car showrooms, even something for ladies, which is in uh, uh, roses, uh, cafes, restaurants and uh, hotels, which is actually the biggest thing in the 360 world, because hotels are uh, very related to this technology. I'll come on it later on, um, practice. So, and the good thing is, um, 360 is for all platforms. And now, like I said, there's coming a new platform, this kind of VR glasses. If you use your smartphone, your, your laptop, your, your desktop PC, you have to handle it by the mouse and you can turn the picture and everything. But the glasses are different. You use the glasses and you, you turn and even you look down, you look through your legs and you have the full reality if the, if the picture is, um, is done in the right way. Um, for instance, our service provides um, the full photoshopping of the tripod. So you don't have the, ex you have the experience of a flying invisible camera. Even if we are standing in front of, a, of, of glass or in front of a mirror, you don't will really see the camera. So it's your own experience, especially if you use this. Um, somebody here from printing? Okay, the QR code. The QR code, which is not so popular here in UAE, um, is the perfect connection between this world and the printing because your smartphones are actually the, the device of the future, of course, in this way as well. And um, you just need to scan a QR code and you're really inside this world, inside the panorama which, which is uh, um, advertised by this technology. Um, the panoramas are shown, of course, uh, basically on Google. That means you see the businesses on Google search, you see them on Google Maps, especially for hotels. There are some different uh, platforms which are integrated now in Google Maps as well. And, um, but actually, the, the game starts after this. There are a lot of photographers, Google photographers, they're called trusted photographers by Google. And they're doing the job until now. But now, actually, the, um, the game starts. That means to use it for marketing, to make um, panoramic pictures to marketing pictures, to use them for your clients if you are from, from media or for your own company, for your own business, to, to advertise your business. So, and this is actually our work, what we do, and I come back to this guy, um, because maybe in 25 years, you tell your grandchildren, okay, I remember when it started, maybe as the base of this kind of, who knows it? the holodeck of, uh, of, of enterprise where you can go inside and you are in a completely different world. Okay? It sounds like fantasy, but these glasses can be the start. And um, actually, I want to invite you um, to, to join this journey because right now we are back in school. Like my daughter, she's in year two and we are actually in year two as well um, because this is just starting right now. We, are, um, we, we learned something in year one and this year, but we don't know what happens. And uh, maybe next year nobody's using the glasses because they have some um, holography technology, so whatever, so, so nobody knows. And um, yes, I really want to invite you to, to have, a, um, have this journey uh, together with the guys which are deeply inside, like us. And, um, it will be really amazing what happens in the near future. In Germany, for instance, they already sell um, holiday travels um, by um, um, travel agencies by using the glasses to show the hotels to, to, um, to, the, to the tourists. And they decide by virtual reality um, where they want to live, also in Dubai. Dubai is, but Dubai is a special thing because um, Google didn't allow to uh, work for us for, in us, for instance, until last year um, in Dubai. But it was also not possible to have a license for Dubai itself. So that's why if you go to Europe, it's much more popular. And here in Dubai, it's, it's an upcoming thing. It's an upcoming business. And a lot of photographers are coming here. And uh, the quality is very different. So um, um, 
like I said, just join this uh, journey and uh, see what happens and maybe, maybe next year, in two years or whatever, you have something like this, something like the glasses or whatever, and um, you remember this day when you heard about it for the first time. And um, let me come back at last um, to, the, um, to the marketing thing, because maybe it's interesting for some, some, some guys of you. The, the problem is that all the content is on Google. So now you have to find an opportunity to bring it to, the, to your marketing reality, to websites, to uh, social media especially. And there are a lot of home pages, and we developed one of these kind of home pages by ourselves, just to have the opportunity to go on the developing um, and to make, make the panoramas available in different ways. Um, this opens incredible um, opportunities. Um, we can insert links into the panoramas, in the, in the real Google panoramas, with additional information, with videos, with picture galleries, with uh, even voices and things like this. Um, we are working now on a technology that if you, if you look to one corner of the room and uh, you, you will hear somebody telling you something about this, for instance, the view, okay? And if you turn, he will stop. So, because you don't see the view anymore and it makes no sense to get additional information because if you turn, you are not interested in <laughs> or you want to see something else. And uh, so it's, it's really something, let's say, or like I said, uh, we are back in year two at school and we are excited what will happen and um, it will have a huge impact to all of our life, like the smartphones in 2007, Nobody expected what, what happens in, the, in this 10 years. But now everybody of, of us is actually a kind of addicted to it because we, we have to use it. We, we can work everywhere, but we are, we are reachable everywhere as well, available everywhere as well. And, and sometimes it's a headache and sometimes it's really nice. And um, this is my new reality, okay, which I'm working for or working in. And um, I really... I love the idea to give people the opportunity to see places without being there or before. But what we actually fo are focused on is something we call um, trusted pictures. That means we want to show the reality, not over photoshopped, you know, like this catalog pictures you see and then you go to Dubai and it's a it's a sandy view. It's a, it's, a, it's a more yellow sky than a blue sky. It's, it's not this, this blue uh, sea. It's more green and gray. It's still the same, but it's in, for the catalog pictures, it's over photoshopped, we call it. And what we do is trusted pictures. We want to show the reality because your clients, if I call, uh, talk to the, the, the marketing guys and the media guys, your clients will come and they have an experience they, they, they expect something you cannot deliver in the reality and then it's bad for business, it turns. And that's why we call it trusted pictures. We really give the original view, the, the, even if we take the nicest side of it, of course, but like I said, this over photoshopping in the, in the, in the virtual reality really makes no sense. Um, Normally, it would, uh, everybody would say, okay, photographer is, or photos is the first step, and the next is video. But for me, like I said, um, I don't have any chance to navigate through a film, through a movie, through a video. So I just can join it and can wait and can wait. And this is what I saw at the ATM, for instance, at the uh, Emirates uh, stand. Um, so I, ha I was able to, to see a movie. It's fine. Um, but in the, at the same um, exhibition, we gave one of our clients the opportunity to present their hotels on iPads. And the client one was able to decide what he wants to see, the breakfast uh, uh, buffet or the rooms, the three bedroom, the one bedroom, the rooftop, uh, whatever. So for me, this is actually still the, the best way um, to, to present businesses in this kind of uh, new way of marketing. And uh, keep it in mind, <laughs> see what happens. And uh, yeah, I hope I didn't bore you. <laughs> and if there are any questions, feel free. Um,